All right, so I've been getting a lot of questions on specific arcade-related parts that come in cabinets. So instead of answering each individual, in each individual question individually, I'm going to just kind of quickly go through a cabinet and show you what's what. What things are called, what they're used for, and quite possibly how they hook up. A JAMA cabinet basically means that you can hook up just about any board that is a JAMA board, and I'll show you what one looks like over here. This is just an old golden T one that I used to test that I know works. If you look at a board, this is a, called a JAMA board. Okay, and right here is a JAMA connector. It's a standard connector. This one had some uh, weld marks on it. I'm sorry, some solder marks. Golden T for some reason had some kind of power issues where it was shorting out power supplies, and this little prevents it. But anyways, this connector here is called a JAMA connector. It's standard on all boards that came out like in the 80s and 90s, and some in the 2000 era. But uh, they're pretty standard. All these chips here are called EPROMs slash ROMs, whatever you want to call them. This little thing right here is called a dip switch. get a lot of questions on that. There are little tiny switches that you can flick on and off. Uh, there's usually instructions that come you know, in the owner's manual of these games. There's different chips that are on these boards, like some of these are boot ROMs. In other words, um, you know, it's, it's what when you turn the game on, that's what boots it up. There's some other ones that are called security chips. I can't see any on here. I'm sure there is one on here. That cannot be burned. Um, so basically, if you don't have that, you're screwed. But this is what a PCB board is, it looks like on the inside of a cabinet. It's not a computer. It's not a download. It's not a hard drive. Some of the games have hard drives attached to these, but this is an actual PCB board. I'm just going to do the Killer Instinct since there's no monitor in here. This is called a marquee. Some people call it the sign or the header. It's called a marquee. That's the actual physical name of it. This is a control panel underneath this plexiglass. Under here is a control panel overlay. And what that encompasses is underneath, on the back, joysticks. There's two of them, or you know, however many, like the NBA Jam S4. And buttons, just like you press. And they all have individual wires that connect to either the JAMA harness, which is this main one right there. That big black connector right back there right there. And you can see how it's standard connector. This is a Killer Instinct board that has a hard drive that's right right in there. You can kind of see the hard drive. Inside the cabinet, like I said, you have all these buttons that are connected, all these wires, um, and they kind of head towards different areas in the cabinet. They're wired all along the top, and they connect into the JAMA harness, and some of them connect directly into the board, because uh, there's only so many standard connections that comes standard with a JAMA connector. Uh, for example, up, down, left, right on player one, player two, player one start, player two start. If it's a Mortal Kombat game, high punch, high kick, block, high punch, high kick, and block on player one and player two. Low punch, low kick, and run are a different harness, so it needs to be plugged directly into any board. That silver thing down there is called a power supply right there. That comes off the, and this particular machine is an isolation transformer. Um, a lot of the new games don't have these. Some of the older games, especially MK series, has these and with uh, Killer Instincts. So that's your power supply. That's how your main power supply is diverted to all the different parts of the cabinet. Uh, but for the most part, I mean, the inside of an arcade cabinet is very simple. There's that standard connector, the JAMA connector right there, the black one that goes from the green board. In this case, it's green. Some of them are different colors. And the hard drive that's attached to there and distinguishes where all these wires go. You can see them kind of come up through here and attach to all these things. They also connect to the coin door back here. You can see the test switch. If you look at it, when the game's on, you can press this one here by going like that, and it brings up a menu. This is volume up and down, and this is how you add credits, by pressing these buttons while the game is on. This little thing right here that's flickering is like a security measure where if the game, somebody's trying to rock it or break it, if this little metal thing that's going back and forth right there hits this thing, the game will reset. And you can see the back of the coin door, how it's all wired up for the little individual lights. And these are coin mechanisms. When somebody drops a coin in, it goes into here. There's a little switch under here that credits the account and then drops into this box down here and into here where there's supposed to be cash boxes that I took out. And you slide them out, and that's how the route salesmen used to collect their coins. So that's just kind of like a basic overview of, of what it is. This is a bezel right here. This comes off. 
just kind of sits in there and the monitor goes in there and then the monitor connects this plastic bezel goes over the top here and then the glass goes over and for example in the Street Fighter one there's this bracket that goes along the top right here that connects and creates a nice clean opening or no opening rather in between the glass and the control panel so if you have any other questions ask me but that's pretty much it, it's pretty simple uh, once you've kind of done one or two of these machines they're all basically the same as you can see, I mean, Street Fighter is a completely different company. It was by Midway, um, by Capcom. I have it in a in a Midway cabinet. It's actually an M MK2 cabinet. Killer Instinct is the same. NBA Jam is the same. The Tron it was made way back in the day, so that one's a little different. But for the most part, all the wiring is the same, and the MK2 obviously is the same as all these. So there's a quick overview. Like I said, once again, the JAMA connector, and you can see right on the board right there it says JAMA. I'm kind of zooming in too close but right right there it says JAMA and each one of these little pins corresponds with something like coin door, lights, up, down, left, right and that's the way they did all these games. So there you go. There's a little overview of how arcade machine cabinets work.